everyone it's audrey here welcome to my channel thanks so much for stopping by if you don't subscribe already make sure you do we do daily hairstyles hair tutorials i do them on my daughter victoria and also on my own hair but today i'm going to be doing a hair tool review so i recently just bought i purchased this on my own this is not a sponsored video i just genuinely love hair tools and this is the dry bar this is the double shot and this is their blow dryer brush. So you can see some hair in it, it's already been used, but I just love this and I thought it'd be really fun to come on over here and do a video showing exactly how I use it. Now I do wanna preface it this way, just in case you're like me. So I'm gonna take my hair out right now just so you can tell what it looks like, okay? So I have very thick hair, it's also very dry and I color treat my hair. So you have those three things right there going for uh, my hair but this is my hair I just I got up a little bit ago I always sleep with a, a big messy bun on top of my head with one of the gimme beauty hair elastics and this is my hair right now so it's a little unruly you have a little bit of a wave to it I had a braid in yesterday so I still have that residual wave and it just really looks crazy right so I'm gonna brush my hair down and usually this is what I do in the morning I'll just do a quick brush on my hair just to kind of get some of the unruliness down. And the reason why I was attracted to the blow dryer brush was number one, I love dry bar. I actually used to travel to New York City all the time for work after, you know, obviously with everything that's happened the couple of years, I haven't, I'm based in Rhode Island. But I used to go to the dry bar every visit and got just to get a professional blowout. And the blowout would last me and my hair, honestly, a good solid week. I only wash my hair because it is very thick and it's also very dry. I only wash it normally about um, once a week. But the reason I was intrigued by the dry bar hot shot in particular was because first of all, I love their hair tools. I love their products. They've always worked for my hair. There's a lot of brands out there that offer products and hair tools that promise the world and they don't deliver. And I really wanted to see how this one really stood up to honestly my hair. And I also wanted to make sure too that it was easy to use. There's so many hair tools out there and honestly, they're not always easy to use. So I wanted to make sure I cannot for the life of me do a great blowout on my hair with just a roll brush and a hair dryer. I've just never been great at it. Doesn't matter how many times I've tried, I can't do it. So I'm gonna just walk you through because I love this hair tool and I just wanna show it off. So I have my, actually my dry bar clips so what I always do is I start from the bottom and work my way up. So I know I have gray hair. I know that it's uh, color treated. I always left comments like that. And yes, I do know. So first of all, um, there is, there's some settings here. So there's a cool setting right here. You just turn it. There's a high setting for heat. And then there's also a low setting for heat. So you have a high heat, a low heat and a cool. I'm gonna go to the high heat. And all I'm doing is I'm gonna take the actual brush, I'm gonna pop it in my hair, and I'm gonna roll it up with the heat, hold it, and then I'm gonna pull it out. Okay, so watch this. Heat, take the section of hair, I'm gonna roll it up, very easy to roll it. I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds and I'm gonna pull it out. Look at that, okay? I'll do it another time. I have two sections in there. Take it, I'm gonna roll it, and I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Take it, roll it, hold it, hold it, and I'm gonna pull it out, okay? It's not hot to touch either which is another thing that I really do love about it. It's not hot at all to touch. So I'm gonna just keep going section by section, making sure I'm getting a nice hold on it and I'm letting it go, all right? Even these little pieces around my head, these little wisps that are hanging down, just like that, all right? So I'm going to continue to do the rest of my head. So you don't have this in there for 20 minutes. Watch me do, although it, do, it does only actually take me 10 minutes to do my entire head, which is crazy. Um, I'm gonna fast forward motion, but I'm gonna just show you, um, and again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm rolling it up, holding it, and then letting it go. But I'm gonna do my the rest of my head, and I'm gonna do it in fast forward motion. 
All right, so here I'm going down from the bottom. I'm working my way up. And as I said before, I'm just taking the brush, I'm rolling it, and I'm just letting it sit with that heat for a few seconds and then just letting it fall. And look at how smooth it is. All right, so this is the final product. I absolutely love it. I honestly can't believe that this simple hair tool can get your hair to look like this. It only took nine minutes. I said it was gonna take 10, it took nine. So I was off a minute. It was shorter than I thought, but I, you know, this is $155. I definitely know it's not a small investment, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I paid for this for my birthday. It was a gift to myself because I've been watching it forever. And I did also get a really great deal. There was a flash sale one day. So I think it dropped down to 89.50. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go for it. And I absolutely love it. If I had known before, how well it was gonna work on my hair, I would have bought it at full price before. So if you are thinking about it, go for it. I just, I can't stress enough. I don't do enough hair videos showing the failures of me trying to blow out my hair. Maybe that's what I need to do just to be able to show just how genuinely easy this is to use. But I just can never get my hair to look this way. And I do wanna show you really quickly because I don't, I'm gonna do my bangs again really quick. So I just take the top. And I, you could even do this just with like a ponytail. Take your hair, your bangs, roll it down, and I just hold it for a few seconds, and I let it go, fan it down, and you have this incredible flip right there to your hair. Uh, I just, I can't say enough. So all the details are in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe. We love, love, love to do hairstyles and hair tutorials and I post them every single day. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and thanks so much for watching.